here it is. We finally got it. This is the Vivor 8x14 uh, Mini Lee. Just got delivered by FedEx. They, they were just one driver. He's able to just take it off the truck and wheel in with the dolly. So this lake is about a hundred and I think ten pounds or so. So it's not too heavy. Um, I was able to drag it into the garage myself, but I'm excited. Let's uh, get this opened up. Looks like it's just some tabs here that you fold upwards, and the lid should come off. So let's get to it. All right, so I got the lid off. Uh, the lathe is still attached. Uh, you could see over in this leg here, there's the, uh, looks like the bolt coming from the bottom up. So it's two there and there's probably two somewhere under here. So I'll probably have to tip this over and then I'll see how to get to it. It looks like those bolts here go through this leg so, so we'll see and we'll, we'll try to loosen it once we get those bolts out we'll probably just lift it up with the walls still intact um if worst case scenario we'll undo these and just take off the, the sides too but hopefully we don't have to all right so that did it there was four 10 millimeter bolts that went through. Uh, now the lathe is detached from the shipping pallet. Uh, what I did was tipped it over just enough to to reach under under there. So then when I got the bolt out, the lathe slid just a little bit, but it didn't actually slide all the way back or cause the whole thing to tip over. So uh, now we're gonna go ahead and lift this out, and then we'll. Here's the pan for the bottom. We'll figure out if there's bolts for this. And then we'll lay the lathe onto this bench here, attach the pan and get it set up. Okay, so after some thought here, um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to bolt this to the bottom of the lathe because then if I put a bolt from the bottom side, that means that uh, this won't sit flat and it'll be sitting on the bolt. Um, so in this case, I guess we're just going to lay the, the lathe right on top of this plate. Um, the concern is that once I start using cutting fluid and stuff, it'll just start leaking through these holes all over the table. So for now, I guess we'll just lay the lathe on there and then we'll figure out what to do after that. All right, here's a lathe on the table now. Uh, it's pretty light, actually. I think it's it says it's about 110 pounds, but it wasn't too bad to carry. There's space to hold it, so it's pretty easy. I uh, did it with two people. Uh, the lathe itself was pretty oily, so then we had to clean up the back side. There was just oil all over the back. But yeah, so I have the cover off here. And you can see it's all it's all metal gears on this model. Um, in the, the kit, the toolbox that they give you, it comes with a bunch of gears. Um, this is to change the ratio of these gears to, uh, I think for thread cutting. So there is a, a guide to go off of and you would just change the gears accordingly. Uh, it comes with the jaws for the, the chuck. I don't know if it's different or is it just extra? So you get that and then you get some starter bits to work with, it looks like. And then oil bottle, some other bits. I really don't know much about the lathe, so I'm excited to learn and uh, we'll be working on some projects with it. So stay tuned.